In this next series, we're going to be building a very simple tic-tac-toe game. As usual, the idea is not really to build a specific application, but we're going to be focusing on some other concepts. What we're going to be focusing on this series is going to be the composition API, testing the composition API, and the idea of immutability, where instead of overriding an existing value, you assign a new value when you change something. This is going to make it very easy to implement certain features, such as undo and redo. This is actually a video series of an article from my new book, Design Patterns for Vue.js, and you can grab a link to this in the description below. Anyway, let's go ahead now and get started with the project. The first thing we're going to do is create a new app. So I'm going to run view create and say tic-tac-toe. I already have a project created, so I'm just going to choose merge for now. And all you need to do is choose the following settings. I'm going to keep this one as simple as possible. So all we're going to have is Babel and unit testing. We don't need anything else. I accidentally chose linter as well, so I'm just going to go and redo that one. Let's say merge and start one more time. We're going to manually select the features. We want Babel and we want unit testing and we do not want the linter. We're going to use view three, of course, and we'd like to use Jest for our testing framework. And you can just choose any of these. I'm going to choose in dedicated configuration files. I'm not going to actually run this because I've already run it, but you should go ahead and run this if you'd like to follow along at home. Once you've done that and you've installed half of the internet, you're going to uh, CD into tic-tac-toe and just make sure everything's working. First, we're going to run yarn test unit just to make sure the default test is passing. Of course, this is going to pass, but it's always good to make sure. I'm now going to run yarn serve to start up my application and head over to localhost 3000. And if everything's gone correctly, you should see something in your browser. Let's make that a bit smaller. And you can actually, it's on 8080. There we go, everything is now rendering correctly. So we're ready to go ahead and get started with the application.